Hello everyone and welcome to a new play and chat video. Um, this is my first video footage or video capture, whatever, um, of a PS4 game. Sony this week um, released an update um, which enables you to now copy the footage that you capture when you're playing a game onto a USB stick. And this in turn um, enable, has enabled me to be able to copy it into iMovie on my Mac, um, like I do with when I make other videos. Um, I copy them via the HD PVR that I've got, and then I copy the, uh, the file then onto um, the Mac um, via a USB stick. I copy it into iMovie and off it goes. It's a bit cumbersome, but it's the best solution. Um, that I was able to come up with. And that worked for the PS3, that worked for the Xbox 360, the Wii, and quite a lot of my retro consoles as well. Problem being, when the PS4 came out, um, it didn't have um, component support. The only cable that it supports is HDMI. So I wasn't able to connect to my um, HD PVR device that's only got component connectors in it's the uh, it's one of the older ones um, I got it about three years ago four years ago something like that and it was never really a problem for me back then because it was quite simple and straightforward you know I had all of the cables that I needed to be able to connect all of the consoles that I had plus the retro ones that I had the only console that I ever had an issue with funnily enough was the Mega Drive um, that for some reason would just the picture would just keep flashing on and off so I had to use an old um, standard definition Elgato capture card that I had um, in order to to solve that problem but it wasn't really too much of a problem anyway so uh, when Sony as I say when they released the PS4 I was like well the only way I'm going to be able to capture any footage is by going back to basics which was to point a camera at a TV screen and capture the footage that way and I don't actually have a problem with that I do enjoy watching a lot of people who make videos that way I think the quality of camcorders now and the fact that with LCD, OLED TVs, whatever you don't get the, the sorts of flickering bars that you got on CRT TVs when you pointed a camera at them um, the quality these days is so long, you know, if the camera's, if it's set up properly and it's framed properly, it's actually really good. Um, you see very few people now do it in a way where it looks bad. Um, and as I say, there's a lot of people that are, channels that are subscribed to who still use that method and it, it looks really good. Um, but I've got quite an old um, camera as well. And a lot of the early, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of the early videos that I did using the camera method, um, I was always getting sort of light issues in in the room that I film it in because it gets that room is a south facing room. It gets the sun all day, every day. So unless I was going to do it at night, which you know when I actually prefer to play rather than record game footage. It always was going to be a bit of a problem, um, and that was the reason in the first place that I got a capture card. Because obviously, if you're recording through a capture device, it doesn't really matter um, what the light conditions are in the room. You know, the sun can go out, go back in. It can be raining. It can be brilliant sunshine. It, it doesn't matter. Um, so I was always a bit hesitant to sort of go back to doing that, and I'd, I'd virtually resigned myself to the fact that that's what I was going to end up doing because. There was I don't have the money to buy a new um, high definition capture device, and obviously at that point when the PS4 first came out, there was no way of transferring over the files anyway, so it was a waste of time. The only real way of doing it was via um, a camera, and the Sony updated the console. I think it's version 1.70 now, and they included. Uh, the ability to copy the files over onto um, a data stick that saves the files in an mp4 format and you can copy them over onto a data stick which is really cool 
and it, it answers the problem. So I thought I'd test it out, see what the quality was like, see how it worked out. Um, because if that's the case, if the quality is good, um, or good enough for me anyway, um, it would answer a lot of problems without costing any money, which is always the best way to, to solve problems in my book. Um, the one thing I did notice was that I my the data stick that I use is a USB 2 data stick, and I understand that the the um, the the USB sockets on the PlayStation 4 um, are USB 3, and that means that transferring the files takes a, an enormous amount of time. Um, for example, to transfer about um, 600 megabytes, um, which is probably about 10 minutes worth of footage, um, took an hour. So I probably am going to have to invest in a new um, USB card. You can get a um, USB card, USB um, device. What the hell? Um, you know, um, data stick, Jesus Christ. Um, head's just gone completely then. And you can get USB 3 ones which are high speed and I understand from what I've read on the PlayStation forums that should solve the problem. That is what the problem is. It's obviously a data bottleneck or something where um, the card just isn't able to process the data fast enough from the PS3 to do it at a reasonable speed. Uh, PS4, good God. Come on, and um, to do it at a reasonable speed. So yeah, I mean overall, providing this turns out okay and this works out okay, I'll be quite happy. Um, I, I, I've seen a pretty decent 16 gig data stick for 10 pounds, which will more than do me. Because um, I don't keep the files on the data stick anyway. I just use it to transfer over, and that would probably do me probably 14 even maybe as many as 16 um, videos on one data stick to transfer over any given time. Um, that would would save a huge amount of time. You can also um, record commentary as well. So with the microphone that comes with the console, it comes with a little uh, clip-on microphone as part of the earpiece that you get. You can actually record commentary. So anybody that wants to record themselves playing the game and do the commentary at the same time. It will also do that. So that's that's really good. Now, the quality isn't brilliant, but there are. You, you, I imagine the quality would be better if you're using the PlayStation camera. Or I know Sony released um, a better headset um, that you can buy um, extra. So I would imagine that you would be the sound quality would be far superior i mean this thing that you've got it just comes with the console and anyone that's got a ps4 will know what i'm talking about it's like a little clip on microphone and you can hear the voice it just doesn't sound very clear i mean i use a, a blue snowball microphone to do these voiceovers when i record uh, because i always record the commentary um after i've recorded the footage now i would do the commentary at the time when I'm recording the footage if I had a decent enough microphone. Um, so that might be something I may also invest in in the future. But, I mean, it's great that the option's there. I mean, again, it's down to your personal taste. Um, my voice doesn't really travel very far audibly when I speak normally. Um, so I need as good a microphone as possible because I don't like talking loud and I sort of subconsciously will start to talk um, at my normal volume which is quite low so I really do need something that can capture my voice because there's no way I'm shouting into a little dinky microphone and people wondering if I've lost the plot completely or whether I'm suffering from some online gaming rage so anyway yeah that pretty much covers um, the whys and wherefores and how I ended up getting this video onto YouTube. It wasn't a very difficult process um, and like I say it's part of the update with the PlayStation 4 so if you own a PS4 you're going to get the update and it comes as standard um, with the update and it's very easy to do um, and I've been 
quite impressed by it, to be honest with you. I thought that getting game footage off a of PS4 was going to be a struggle for me, but just having a little bit of patience and waiting for this update to arrive um, seems to have answered those problems. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about Call of Duty Ghosts, as that's the game that I'm playing in this playing chat. Um, a quick brief history of Call of Duty. I mean, I got um, a video up on my channel of the original Call of Duty that I played on the PC. Um, albeit that was played on the PS3 via a, um, a download that I got. Um, I think it was when I got Modern Warfare 2 Special Edition, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, and I absolutely loved it. I, the, the original Call of Duty was by the same guys that did Medal of Honor um, Allied Assault. They left EA and went to Activision and created the Call of Duty franchise there. And they went on to do Call of Duty 2, which was another excellent game. And then they they went away from the Second World War theme. I think they got a bit bored of doing um, Second World War theme first person shooters. And they did Modern Warfare. And Modern Warfare rewrote the book on online first person shoot 'em ups. The multiplayer was. It, it just redid everything. Everything you knew, it changed. Um, some people think change, thought it changed for the better. I've always been a bit divided. I liked the immediacy of the old Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty 3 where you didn't have all of this ranking up nonsense. You picked your class, you went into the game and you just... and that was it. It was fast, it was immediate. Um, I enjoyed that. The ranking up thing introduced a new element and it introduced a different type of gameplay as somebody that, you know, these days guys that are more concerned about kill to death ratios and the more concerned about prestiging um, which for those that don't know prestiging is essentially where I think you rank all the way up to the maximum and then, and then you kind of wrap around and start again it's like a new game plus type mode I think that's what it is I've never done it myself so I don't know but that's kind of what how I understand it um, they, they seem more occupied with that than playing um, a fun game online and it really did put me off. I mean the footage that you've seen here, I am connected online, um, I've created, it's, I'm playing a squads game, um, anybody would be free to jump in and join in my squad, but essentially I'm, I'm playing against um, artificial AI characters, artificial intelligent characters. And because of the fact that it's a squad game, the, the vacant slots in my squad are filled up um, with artificial intelligence as well. And I'm quite happy to do that. Um, I do, every time a new Call of Duty game comes out, I always say I'm not going to buy it. Then I end up buying it, and then I always try and give it a chance online. And the only one that I've really played online an awful lot um, since the it sort of changed to the different system of the ranking up and what have you was Black Ops. Um, and I can't honestly say why that's the case. I just, I did enjoy that. I mean, I enjoyed Black Ops anyway. That wasn't by Infinity Ward. Um, I think Black Ops was by Treyarch. Um, and Treyarch always used to get a lot of stick, you know, that they were the inferior, that their Call of Duty games were inferior. Well, I beg to differ, I thought Black Ops was a fantastic game. I much preferred that than I did Modern Warfare 3. I thought Modern Warfare 3, I enjoyed the game, but it felt tired. And you could tell that um, Infinity Ward had really come to that point where they were running out of ideas. Um, and it just felt like a tired game. It was, it was good, I enjoyed it, there was a lot of fun things in it. But overall, it, it wasn't a Call of Duty game that I come to expect. A lot of people don't like ghosts, and I'll come on to talk about ghosts now. Um, I actually quite like it. I prefer it over Modern Warfare 3, and there's probably going to be a hell of a lot of people that are going to disagree with me on this. But I, I do. I, I I don't can't explain why. I just I do. I enjoy it. I enjoy this squads mode. I enjoy that an awful lot. Um, the it's difficult to really say because 
it's like how can you pick one game over another game when the changes really are very subtle there's there's nothing really major in terms of the differences between um modern warfare 3 and, and ghosts yet your call of duty fanboys will probably be hating on me as well saying there are loads of different changes it's the fact is is for somebody who plays these games quite casually I look at the elements of the sort of how the structure is, how the basic structure of the game is and it feels the same I just think that it's just a personal opinion, I just prefer Ghosts I just enjoyed it more than I did Modern Warfare 3 um, you know I've, I got this at Christmas time when I got my PlayStation 4 and I'm still playing this mode now. I By the time, by the same stage with Modern Warfare 3, I was done with it. It was gathering dust on the shelf. I'd finished the single player campaign um, and I just didn't really get any interest going with anything else. Whereas with this I have, I, I don't know whether it's the maps, I don't know whether it's just the, the gameplay or what, I can't put my finger on it, but I do enjoy it, it's by no means my favourite Call of Duty game, that is always going to be Call of Duty 2, um, simply because I enjoyed the single player and it was my introduction into online multiplayer on the Xbox 360 and I played with a lot of guys off a forum at the time, that, that well still am part of the forum, um, and I had a real tremendous amount of fun with it, and you know, I've, it's it's funny that you know that was back in what 2005, 2006, I think. And I've there's not been too many games since then that I can put my hand on my heart and say I had a really good time playing it. Probably the Left for Dead games, um, probably some other games. I don't know. It, 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 there's been very, very few that have that I've spent that much time playing online with. But I say the Left 4 Dead games certainly I played those online quite a lot. Um, but in terms of the Call of Duty games, they they sort of really died a death. You know, after Modern Warfare, after the sort of novelty factor of that wore off, I found that it was. For the, for the guys that I was playing online with, they, they sort of jumped onto the next thing like Gears of War and stuff like that. And actually getting decent sessions online became more and more difficult. Um, and that's a real sad thing, I think, because <clears throat> I'm sure there's a lot of fun to be had with these games online, especially with people you know. I don't really like playing with random people online because a part of the fun of playing online for me is... is talking to people that you know and you know having a laugh you know one of you will do something really daft and do something really stupid or you know just in general the the, the sort of social aspect of it and I don't really get that playing against people you don't know playing against random people and what have you you don't tend to get that and plus the fact you always run the risk of the sort of idiots who go on there just to insult people and be general arseholes but anyway, um, that's pretty much it for this video. As I say, it was primarily just to test out the new PS4 capture stuff. So um, thank you for watching and stay tuned to my channel for more videos to come.